Anytime a cabinet minister resigns because of a scandal, that's a huge body blow for any government. For a minority government, it could be devastating, which is why the rule is, if you're the prime minister, you will do everything in your power short of murder to stop any resignations. Look at Brian Mulroney. He had a whack of resignations and it stuck with him forever. Rightly or wrongly, when you think about Mulroney, you think scandal. So then along came Cretchen, and Cretchen said, okay, well, there will be no more of that. In fact, the old adage was the only thing that could force a Cretchen cabinet minister to resign was if they were caught in bed with either a dead girl or a live boy. Now, obviously, Paul Martin has different views on this because he's the one who accepted Judy Scrow's resignation in the first place. And why did she resign? What massive scandal forced Canada's immigration minister from office? Some guy said that he gave her free pizza in exchange for political favors. Sometimes it's truly embarrassing what can pass for a scandal in this country. And the capper is, the guy making the allegations is a convicted child smuggler who's been ordered deported from Canada half a dozen times. But that doesn't matter, because obviously, we have become so cynical about politics that we are eager to believe the word of a career criminal over a cabinet minister. That says a lot about the state of politics in Canada. None of it very good. But at the same time, looking back over the last decade, I can't help but think I wish I knew back then what I've learned now. Because if I'd known a few pizzas could take down a cabinet minister, I would have had Pizza Pizza on speed dial long ago.